Hey guys, welcome to LG Lu. LG Lu. <laughs> yes, LG Lu. LG U. My name is Marcus. You might remember us from, and this is Matt. You remember us from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I figured, you know what? Why not just go into the next Pokemon game? Because we, we still have it in our memory. So we're playing Pokemon Shield today. Now, a little bit of backstory. We started recording this, I think, maybe like a day ago. And come to think of it, the PC didn't have enough memory, so you're gonna miss me. You're gonna miss me, like, waking up, choosing my character, meeting Hawk. So, right now, we are just going straight to meet Leon. I am so sorry for that. What a great way to start a new LP. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and this is our rival Hawk. Alright. Let me get my best English voice out. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Marcus, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my rule with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Marcus, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. I mean, that doesn't sound any much good, but it's whatever. I'm sorry if I sound like ass, guys. I'm just a little agitated because of that. Like, we just started this, and we're already messing up. <laughs> I don't get it, like, man, I think you, man, how much TV do you have on this PC? What? How much TV do you have on this PC? I thought it would have been enough. I mean, how much more? Wet here we are. It's fine. We didn't make it that far, though. This is the big champion. And JoJo pose. <laughs> the kid was like making like it looked like it was making a gun sign when Leon did his pose in the air. He was doing this sideways. <laughs> God damn, it looked like a gun. That's terrible. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest matches for all you to watch. It's on the Fable Champion, Leon! You and your toys are the greatest man! Save my face! Well, thank you for that. I'll do it later. I hope you'll carry on up your training, your Pokemon, and never shy from battling. Then come challenge me, the champ for the champion title. We're on it! We've all been working our but <laughs> we've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us we Only my brother calls me that. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us! True that that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest chain, the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle May. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the greatest in all the world. True that Charizard. Lee. Oh. So. My number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hawk. I reckon you've gone exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, the sort of sharp eye that kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. Oh. <laughs> I've got it. You must be Marcus, am I right? Yes, sir. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm Galar Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. In all honesty, this is my personal opinion, Blastoise is better than Charizard, do not at me. People call me the unbeatable Leon, but can you beat... Could Leon beat Cynthia? <laughs> that would be awesome to see though. Come on Lee, and you Marcus, bet I can beat you both to... <laughs> bet I, can... I thought that was Lee. But I can be back home home. Words. That Hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With, proper ri with a proper rival of his own, I bet he can push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you a farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gala can have a champion time. Jojo pose, boy. I'm going... He... I'm... <laughs> Maybe I should come up with my own JoJo pose. That'll be hilarious. Back home. But yeah, anyway, sorry guys about that little mess up. 
we'll get through it. <laughs> maybe it's a maybe it can be a tradition every time we start a new LP. Come on, Lee. You promise you be quiet. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought me and Marcus some Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. Okay, I get it, you're humble. It's showtime, everyone! This is not Persona 5. Alright, what are we getting? By the way, guys, I play Pokemon Sword. Man has not played any of these two, so it'll be an experience for him. The Grass-type Pokemon Grookey. The Fire-type Pokemon Score Bunny. And the Water-type Pokemon Sobble. Oh, my English is on fucking point right now. Game Freak, try hire me, or any anime out there that needs good English voice acting. At me. I will do my best. I will do it for free. <laughs> Stupid. How did that not hurt your head? Oh, we got a cry baby here. We'll fix you. Oh, see? All right, everyone, line up. I mean, is he supposed to have like a deep voice? Which one will you choose? I can't. I can't do. I don't know if I can do a high voice for her, but I'll try. Now, you guys already know who I'm gonna choose because I already made it clear in in Diamond. I love my Water type Pokemon. I don't care. They are for me. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my rule after all. Boy, that's the Water type Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as a water flows. Going with Sobble? Yes, I am. Yes, I would like to give it a nickname. And it's a male. Um, what do we name it? What? No, I- Well, isn't Kappa like a turtle? Like a turtle yokai? Because what what this evolves into, it doesn't- does not resemble a turtle. It was evolved into. Uh, do you really want to be spoiled? Yeah. Ba it's basically based off like a secret spy. Its final evolution is is almost like a secret spy. It it grows it grows from being a crybaby into being a badass. It looks like it could be a spy. It can even learn a few flying type moves too. <laughs> but this is the first game. I think this is like the I think this is the first game. Where all the final evolutions only have the, the single type they have, which is water, fire, and grass. So this one, as as it evolves, it becomes just a straight up water type. But if we are going with anime, I want to name it Zabusa, but it's not water steel. Let's go with Kisame from Naruto. Because the last one I named was Gyu Tomioka because of fucking water and steel. I couldn't name it Tanjiro. He was, he, it had to be water and fire. And here we have Kisame. Alright. So it'll be subtle for you. Nice one. And I'll go with score, buddy. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Oh, that's nice. Well, you already have two, so I'm already at a disadvantage, sir. I bet you will, Hulk. That's why I brought these Pokemon for you and Marcus. So you two can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Oh, poor Grookey. Does anyone actually pick the grass starters? Like who? Well, there have been a few popular grass stars. And I know I sure as hell know a lot of people when Pokemon first came out did not pick Bulbasaur, even though it was dual typing to begin with, wasn't it? Grass Poison. I think it was Grass Poison when it first started. No, no, I, I could be wrong. My bad. And you'll come with me. 
Charizard will slow will show you the ropes. He should, but real strong and real kind too. If he doesn't burn you alive, so stay in line. All right, all right. Enough of this trainer nonsense for one night, but it's still morning. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. All right, all right. Oh my, what are they eating? Are those kebab? Are those kebabs? That's a that's a lot of me oh my. Okay, that was going to be an Indian window. I'm not going to say it. All right, it's the next day. The next day. <laughs> You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hawk? You two getting along, right? Understanding each other? Maybe even built up a little love. Okay, maybe not that much, sir. Come on now. Of course I have, Lei. Marcus made fast friends with his subble, too. Then listen up, new Chinas. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you must, if you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy of rivals of, for me, the unbeatable champion. I get it, you're humble too, enough with you being the champion. What are we looking for? What are you looking at him for, Lei? I'm the one who will become the challenge who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Marcus might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my rival. But I'm not planning on losing to him and miss out on my chance to be the unbeatable champion. Like you two are brothers. Can you have like mock battles? You have a chance to battle him every day. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? I guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on to be his first ever Pokemon battle fit of your life. Because that was what. Believe in your Pokemon. Believe in your partner and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that will suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have the champion time battling with them. All right, let's do it. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I watched every match Lee's ever had. I have read every book and magazine he left. I know exactly what to do in order to win. All right, boy. Oh my god, this new this is Hawk's theme, and I fucking love it. But the next, but the character we'll meet later on has a better team, in my honest opinion. All right, Hawk, let's do this. Man, this is so good. Let's go, Kisame. A Pokemon ballad it is. Then I got two partners with me. That is a neat crap. Pound your face. Ow. Alright then. Found that face. Ow. Look, I'm gonna keep pounding you, so stop. You gotta stop. Alright, Kisame. Level 6. And you learned how to squirt water. It's not over yet. I had another trusty ally to my team. They always go with the opposing type. I never understand that. Squirt on him. <laughs> did you already know about type advantages? Yes, I did. I played most of the series. Don't kick me. Spit on him again. Bye. All right. Level seven. Bye, Hop. Oh, this one, this this victory thing is good too. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that sub are too much. I mean, be better. Give me your money. Uh, are these supposed to be pounds or euros? I mean, we're in euros, so it's either pounds or euros. 
well, we're based off of England. We're based off of Pokey England, I think. So, I don't know. I'm not trying to be rude. Well, that was a shock. I guess I know why Lee thought you he'd give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let Charizard and join in the, all the fun. You would kill us, sir. Good effort out there, Sabo. Why don't, why don't I get you all sorted out? And Marcus, you got a real promise, in fact. I got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him. Make make the both of you the stronger. I've already got the strong. I already I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the gym, the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge. You think you're ready for the single greatest com competition in the Galar region? Not putting up, not playing the card before the Rapidash there. The, what? <laughs> you know what? Whatever. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Marcus. Before you think about getting gym badges. Best think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn a lot of things about the, all the Pokemon out there. Including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of the trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokédex is then. We're on it. Looks like we're off to the Pokémon Research Lab for you and me, Marcus. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so com completing a simple Pokédex will be nothing. Boy, if only you saw the rest of the world, you would shut your mouth. Just another page in the tale of my glory. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got our Sobble. We got our Kisame right here. Let's check him out. <laughs> eh, Torrent, the regular water type. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Well, it, it, he's our starter, so we have to know as much as we can, right? He's our starter. Well,. But this this is not Pokey logic. This Pokemon is pretty jolly by nature. A strong. It, okay, so he has a jolly nature. Huh? I'm surprised you actually know this. Oh, Marcus, did you hear that just now? Yeah, I heard it. What was it? The gates open, and that and the Wulu that was there. Oh dear. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke out there? Do you? I mean, what else could have happened? But well, it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Marcus, what do you say? I mean, do you have to? Fine. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Marcus. Alright, alright, don't rush me. Jeez. I just got my Sabo. Leave me alone. Slumbering Weld. Oh, this is nice. Oh. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? I don't know. This is big. Fog is coming in on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright. Fine. God damn it. A Scovet? Is that how you pronounce it? What does it look like? It's a it's a squirrel. Exactly. A Scovet. A Scovet, I think. I don't know. I'm not good at pronunciation. Squirt on him. Ow.
There we go. All right. Do 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 do. Well, this looks really nice, though. Damn it! Rookie deer. These are like the Pidgey and the Fiero of, of, <laughs> of Pokemon. But this one's actually good. Yeah, yeah, leer me all you want. Slap you. Alright. Oh. Did you hear that? Was that Pokemon cry out? You think? I don't know. Are there bears here? Like regular bears. I mean, we could run, but no. I don't want to run. I take offense to that. Spit on her. Oh, dear. If only I had my Dior, I can just run through all this. That's basically howling, right? That sounds nice. Come on, Marcus. That ruler might be in real trouble. Well, it's that ruler's fault we're in this situation. All right, all right. Jeez. This music is really good. Holy crap. I forgot how good it was. I can't see shit. Um, this is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Oh dear. What do we do? Um. Hello? Oh, hi! Um. Um. What in the. I'm not making that sound. What the hell? Blank has appeared. Uh. What should I do in this situation? Um. Well. Squirt on him. Maybe he'll like it. I have no vault. <laughs> um. I I don't have any balls. What? That move had no effect on it. I. Um. Uh. Right, maybe I'll go away. Sir? The move has no... Oh dear. What's happening? Marcus, I can't see anything. You okay? What is happening? Squirt at him again! What is happening? Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. What the hell? Um, what just happened? Am I alive? Hop, you there? Did I get roofied by that whole smoke? Hop, oh, Marcus! What? Wait, how'd you manage to find your way here? 
your pants with directions. You always get pants. I, you know what? Whatever. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother, who had me worried sick, you little shit. I've been waiting for ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I'm coming to look for you both. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were here trying to rescue that Wulu. <clears throat> oh. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come here, and all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. Huh? And at least that Wulu's alright. Yeah, Marcus. I thought we had it when we were, we were in the fog started rolling in, in and that mad Pokemon attacked, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Bitch, we got Rufied! Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hulk? It seemed it seemed low stronger than any Pokemon I ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say lives in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something else? Get strong enough, and maybe you, and maybe the two of you, could be the ones to reveal the truth some someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be, you'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, well, an experience. This will make pretty. This will make a pretty fine first page of a tale of my legend. Oh, good for you, I guess. Jeez. Don't forget to tell your mom that we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll, she'll go spare if you leave without a word. You know, worse than Lee just did. Do I have to? Postwick. <laughs> These names. Alright. Mom, I'm going on my journey. Mom. Well, now, if it isn't Sable, just a sweetheart. And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Of... Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we, here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Poke Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sabo will battle to you to the very end for you. So don't go pushing that poor there too hard. And you, Sabo, look after my little Marcus. Sorry, I just yawned. Come home to us anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is the. That's a good saying. East or west, home is the best. That's a good saying. All right. So we are off to the research lab. So where is it? Let's head down from here. There you are, boy. Here we go! This is quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably have to train up Score Bunny a bit by having a battle against in Pokemon in Tall Grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red white ball. Mark out front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Wait, so you're not gonna get your Pokedex with me? Oh, they actually have the Pokemon out. <laughs> it's not like that in other games. God. Yes, I would like to... Whatever. <laughs> and I have no balls to catch any of these. Okay, that works. I don't even know what that was. What? I wasn't even in the grass! Nah, I do not want this. No. Because I'll find better bug types later on, I think. Slap him. 
I think when we get to the research lab, we'll call it a part after we get our Pokédexes. Are they afraid? I guess they are. Which hurts. All right, let's get a Pokédex. There you are. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokémon Research Lab. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm a hopeless with directions. It's right down there. You can see it from your own home, boy. See how your whole world has already grown? All oh, thanks to having a Pokemon with you? Not really. Unless you want to give me a Charizard, I'll be happy with that. I know I'm sure I know I'm sure glad I've gotten Charizard with, with me. To keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Alright, alright. I gotta, I got to give the, I gotta give it to pass. Eh, I'm sorry, guys. Words. I gotta give it to Professor Magnolia. Every time in here looks fascinating. Oh, it's a Corgi. Or is it a Shiba type Pokemon? Is it a Corgi or is it a Shiba type Pokemon? Oh, so, what is this today, Leon? I can't. I'm trying to do a female English voice. Looking for info on, on another never foreseen for a su super strong Pokemon. I wish you stopped with these outlandish requests. Oh, she looks pretty. Especially with all the hearts, like on her boots and in her hair, too. Good to see you there, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and this is the train and this is his trainer, so Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. I thought that said looks. Oops. She makes food that you can gobble down in one flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Jamper helping you out. I did too. Ooh, look at her. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Marcus. He's a new Pokemon trainer. I set him right. I set him on the right path. Would, would you? All right, go play with the doggy because anyone would do that. Uh, what does he think I am? He always got. He always. He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, it looks like you got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. God damn, technology, man. Isn't that technically... No, I was... No, no, no. I was about to... Not slavery, but... um, Whatever. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In any case, I'll make sure that you can use the Pokédex on your Rotom phone. Thank you for the Pokédex. Just so you know, that Pokédex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let the Gran know that you received the Pokédex? Lives in the house down along Route 2. Alright, so we got... This looks really... Oh my god, look at all the books and flowers and junk. Uh, I think we'll end it when we get to the train station. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to keep. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? Were you stalking? I love. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful, useful stuff. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um. Thanks. Okay. It's a potion. Use it for when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points get slow. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. <coughs> Creep. 
watching and shit. Gross. Got your Pokédex from Sonya. Then it's time to eat lots of different Pokémon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokémon in the wild can leave your team in a very bad way. Woo! Not, not to mention what you're battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we got Pokémon centers. Luckily, lucky yeah, yet yeah, they're a dead easy spot. They look the same way wherever you go. Come on, Marcus. Bet you've never seen him inside one. Well, you don't know that. Oh my god, it's English Nurse Joy. Live with me, Marcus. Is this your first time in the Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. No. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I well this also Inside the yes, and also the Pokemarts right there. I'm heading to Route 2, Marcus. Come find me. Maybe when you're done here. Oh, I do like this rendition of the Pokemon theme. Well, the Pokemon Senate. Do 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 do. Well, let me bite some balls first. Give me my. You have no balls for me. <laughs> Let me get some potions then. Let's make it 10. And uh, blah blah. Maybe. Yeah, Fiber Vice should do it. Thank you. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like your Pokemon to rest here? Yes, please. English Nurse Joy. Thanks for waiting. Your Sabo should be all better now. Hope to see you again. Bye, babe. There's even a Rotom PC. Oh my goodness. This is cafe. Berries. Berries. I got fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in some? No, oh, why not? I, I, I don't need that many berries. Uh, let me get 10 of fish. And of these. And ten of these. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Oh, this is fashion! Dress me up like more of your French woman. Oh, these look regular though. I mean, they look nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a... Oh, I, I mean, should I invest in some of these clothes? Why not? I want to look badass though. Let's go with a purple hoodie. Yes, I'd like to wear it. With, let's see. Let's go with. This. God, I will. I'm. <laughs> what would look good? Nah, 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 nah. Ah, uh, no. These loafers look now. Oh, I can change my back too. A black. I don't know. Oh, that's how is that four thousand? <laughs> Robbing me. Oh, let me get myself some glasses. My signature look. Let us go with the black glasses. Cause I'm a nerd. Yes, I'd like to sport them on, and kind of gloves up. Right. Why not? I want to look fabulous. When we get more money, I'm going to look more fabulous. So shut your mouth. All 
right. Listen, Marcus, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try and head to the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to become the champion. Wait, it's annual? I thought that could happen at any time like in the regular Pokemon games. Eh, whatever. Was it quick? I guess. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to be take part. Wait, endorsed? And Lee doesn't seem to think of that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking, I want to talk to the professor and see if she can help. You gotta take part two. A proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing after all. Keep your mind motivated, right? The professor's house is on is is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give and give our teams the chance to train up a bit a bit along the way. Alright, let's do it. Why you have to be in Dutch just to take part of the of the gym challenge? That seems wrong. Oh, that's probably her big house right there, that big purple one. Over here, I just finished speaking with you. Alright, Marcus, it's time to fill you up on teams a bit. I'm here to teach you how. <laughs> you need to start catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling that Pokedex. Lay, what are you do? Where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has a type or two, which can make it good against some other opponent's Pokemon. For poor, eh, words. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon, to cover one's weaknesses. Now let's have a champion time and I'll show you how it's done. This is the way a real champion catches a Pokemon. I was about to say, he has 50 balls. I was about to say, if he had a Master Ball. I think that was my Snapchat. Good for you. Typical lay. I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask you to catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're inching to join someone's scene because they're all basic level. Wouldn't you say? Give me my balls! 20 of them! The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch them too. And of course, their XP points from battle so take on the trainers that you meet along the path to help you Pokemon strive. Yeah! Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even if I don't know exactly how yet, Show your champion something good, all right? I get it. You're the fucking champion. Bye. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. All right, let's. Well, I'm catching this thing first. All right. Word on him. Brood. I think it's weak enough. Let's toss some balls. Alright, our first one, Rookie D.
Yeah. Keeps my limb bind. Bind. The tiny bird Pokemon, a flying type. Jumping nimbly about, the small body Pokemon takes advantage even on the even on the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Let's give it a name. It's a male. What do we want to name it? Because we didn't name Star Ravia in the last one. What should we name this name? What should we name this one? Because what it evolves into, it evolves into a flying steel type. This? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It only has three. Well, two, technically. Let's name this Hawkeye. What are those? Huh? What are those? That's a fake. This last one is a fake. That last one is a fake. Nick it. Eh, uh, yeah, let's fight. Squeeze. That's rude. Okay, sir. Oh my god. Bye. All right. Oh, that was easy. No, no. Let's keep going. No. Oh dear. Well, I already know where this is going, so let's save. Well, I think we'll call it a part here. So in the next time in the next one, guys, we're gonna go to the professor's house and see what she has left in store for us. See you later guys. May I have anything to say? Uh. Goodbye guys.